is here. Just wake up? Uh, no, I was in the <laughs> Uber cab behind you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so, I think the news got out there a little bit earlier, um, what you're doing today. Yeah. You ha but you have a big announcement also. Um, yeah. Exciting. So if you want to just dive into it. Cool. Um, first, first go into a little bit what soundtracking is. Just okay. give the big overview. Sure. So uh, soundtracking is a social music app that's uh, uh, been available on uh, the iOS platform. So on iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches uh, since March of 2011. And it lets you ind instantly recognize songs uh, that are playing around you as well as on your phone and that you can search for if you know the name of the song. And then you can share this with a photo and a location and a comment and share this uh, with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and even check it in on Foursquare. So it's like a music check-in. And um, we've grown to uh, about a million users um, after uh, 10 months. And uh, we're sharing right now uh, about 6 million uh, uh, music expressions uh, on the social web, so Facebook, Twitter, and Foursquare each day. So on a daily basis, um, uh, a growing community is sharing these music moments. And you're the biggest one on Twitter, right, in terms of people sharing music? Right, so currently um, with, uh, you know, albeit still small community, but growing, um, uh, they're being, uh, they're highly engaged and they're sharing a lot. And uh, right now it's the most shared music service on Twitter and Foursquare. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we believe it's also the, the uh, most shared music service within the Facebook news feed, not the ticker where uh, Spotify lives. And now you're doing something to potentially blow the doors off even more with a whole new, uh, a whole new app. Sure. So um, as any startup uh, will, will do, we'll, they'll look at sort of user requests, right? So uh, uh, consumer requests that come in through Twitter or through email or through a support website. And our number one uh, request since we've launched has been we love, your, uh, we love the concept of your iOS app. We love, we love Apple products, but I actually use Android. And so our number one user request has been, uh, when's an Android version going to be available? And this has been especially true uh, of our uh, non-US uh, potential fan base. All right. And, so, um, and then the second uh, user request was, I want you to integrate not only with iTunes, which the iOS app currently integrates only with iTunes, but um, they wanted to have integration so that they can use it with their Spotify or their RDO accounts. And that's great, and that does that. Uh, I got to use the app a little bit last night. It's, it's awesome. I gotta say, I know this is a little bit of blasphemy for me to say, but I actually think it's better on Android than it is on iOS, which made right now. It's good. Which is kind of crazy because you're an Apple like cheerleader and yeah, fanboy. I definitely am, and, uh, but what you made is really good for Android, and awesome. I, think it's, I think it's really cool what you're doing with the, uh, with the Spotify integration in particular. And is that something you can never do on iOS? Will you be able to do something? I think, I think you can, but I think that um, some of the advantages, there are tons of advantages to working on iOS as a mobile developer, and, and I think uh, 10 out of 10 um, uh, of the popular social apps um, out there on mobile will actually you know, agree with that, but right. I think there's some um, distinct advantages um, that, you, that can be leveraged on Android, and so we're, uh, we're happy to announce uh, today that uh, we're launching our Android app, our sound tracking for Android app here at LeWeb. Uh, thank you, Loic, for giving us the platform to do that in France. And uh, so we're happy to um, uh, announce that uh, as part of that release, um, uh, uh, Sabine, if you could uh, throw up the slides, I'd appreciate it. Um, the, uh, let me know if it goes on. Just, just describe it. Well, it so, like. uh, so. Uh, there you go. Great, thank you. So uh, the two big features to talk about here is that um, now it's integrated in with a Spotify and RDO. So you can have full playback of uh, the music that you share and discover through sound tracking. And so whether you're walking uh, you know, in, in the park or you're sitting at a restaurant or at a show with your friends, when you're sharing these music moments with a photo and a location and checking it in and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter, if you like it, if you were moved by that moment and you want to experience that music, you can add it, uh, you can play it back and you can add it to playlists through this one tap integration. So now you can tap it um, on the Android uh, app and play it in full if you have a Spotify or RDO account. 
And to be clear, before on iOS, you could play the 90 second preview for iTunes, but this is the actual full song. You can right, play. on the iOS app, you can play the, 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 we use the iTunes API so you can play the full song snippet and then buy the iTunes download if you, if you want to uh, own the song or add it to a playlist. So it's a little bit different on Android, and so that's a distinct advantage. And the other uh, innovation that we've made on this app is that it does background processing in a, in a, in a clever way where whenever you're playing music on your Android handset, It'll detect what that song is and give you a lightweight Android-style notification and uh, gives you the opportunity to share right there while you're listening to music um, uh, on another app. And so this is, again, different from the iOS app. So a couple more quick things I want to get to. I know we're running out of time. But um, first of all, be honest, was Android development a huge pain in the ass? Uh, Android development takes longer yeah. um, because you're worried about different screen resolutions and different manifestations of how each handset manufacturer deals with the Android uh, operating system and APIs. Right. And so uh, you definitely have to do a lot more testing and a lot more configuration based upon um, whether it's HTC, Motorola, or um, uh, Samsung, uh, LG. So, uh, and there are a ton of other handset manufacturers to, to think about. So definitely when you're building to iOS, you're building to one platform and one device or three devices. But uh, when you're building to Android, you're building to one operating system with several different flavors. Mm -hmm. And I think they even kind of use that metaphor in their, in their releases as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, the ice cream flavors. Um, and so how big of the opportunity is Android, do you think, for music in particular? Obviously, a lot of people use their iPhones because it, you know, it came from the iPod. And, and so people were naturally drawn to it for, for music fans. How is it in Android? You know, they have sure. Google Music now. That's not integrated yet, but I assume you're, you're talking with them about doing something. Right. Um, so I think like right now our, our app works with Google Music in that uh, when you're playing music uh, through the Google Music app, it'll detect what you're playing and offer you the chance to one tap share again this music or this favorite song, uh, your song of the day. And, and I, I, think, I think music is one of those universal content types where there's a natural community around it. Um, and uh, whether it's Android or iOS, um, when I look at the Android uh, market adoption, mm -hmm. um, we see a ton of music fans that would love an app like sound tracking. And there are, you know, whether it's playback like Spotify and RDO and Google Music, or it's very social like sound tracking, um, we look at Android just as a large market of music fans that have mobile phones, that have smartphones that um, can do the processing and the media capture and the sharing that we're looking for with APIs. So I think the best thing that can happen right now is that all the social platforms continue to develop their SDKs for each of the platforms. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, a lot of the music services out there and the media content services also provide uh, APIs in the form of packaged SDKs for developers like us to work with that. Because it, it, really, is, it really takes out a lot of the heavy lifting for um, uh, great mobile app development and great user experiences. Yep. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks, thanks so much. Time.